Tequila. Mexico's most popular drink is one of our personal favorites. So, of course, we couldn't miss the opportunity to go straight to the source. Tequila Jalisco is another one of Mexico's Pueblo Magicos. Only an hour drive from Guadalajara, it is the home of Mexico's world-famous tequila. For this distilled liquor to be officially considered tequila, it must be produced in the state of Jalisco or a few limited municipalities in the states of Guanajuato, Michoacán, Nayarit, and Tamaulipas. So of course, we had to visit the birthplace of one of our favorite drinks. There are multiple ways to visit the town of Tequila. One of the most popular, but the most expensive options is to take one of two trains that runs from Guadalajara directly to Tequila. Unfortunately, they only run Saturdays, but we have heard it is a memorable experience and they do sell out, so you need to book early. Another popular option is taking one of the multiple day tours available from Guadalajara. With plenty of options available via different operators, it's easy to get overwhelmed, so we'll link a few in the description below. You can also book a tour once you arrive in Tequila. Just make your way to Parroquia Santiago Apostol and you will find plenty of vendors offering tours to different distilleries. They will show you a couple of group tour options and you can choose which best fits your day's plans. You can expect to pay anywhere from 200 pesos and up for a large group tour. Just remember, you can negotiate here to try to get the best deal. You can rent a car and drive there yourself as it's only an hour away from Guadalajara. Or if you're budget traveling and want to save some money, you can go the bus route. It's 190 pesos from Guadalajara to Tequila and takes about an hour to get there. Just make your way to the Tequila Plus bus station in Zapopan and you can buy your tickets. Buses run every hour. In tequila. Once arriving, you're going to need to have some breakfast because you do not want to take on tequila on an empty stomach. So head to El Palomar. Try to get a seat on the second floor on the balcony so you can have a direct view of the beautiful Parroquia Santiago Apostol. And if you're feeling adventurous, try the Café Mexicano. So when in tequila, I guess you gotta have a Café Mexicano. It comes with a shot of tequila. breakfast, that's your chance to see what tours are available from the vendors right in front of the church. Or if you have a tour scheduled and you have time to spare, check out the Plaza Principal where you'll find the famous tequila letters, tons of vendors, and a nice environment to waste some time. We haven't even started drinking tequila and I'm already in a good mood. <laughs> so imagine you put a little tequila in me. Have a grand old time. This is also your chance to check out some of the museums in the area as they're located around the plaza. If you're looking to check out one of the big brand tequila companies such as Casa Sousa, Heradura, or Jose Cuervo, this is the area you'll find them. We opted for visiting smaller, family-run distilleries, so we made our way to our first stop, La Alborada. This was a distillery that we found last minute and we're lucky to have walked in as another couple was beginning their tour. They do take reservations and it is recommended that you reserve a space in advance. I have price for the people from the park. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I knew we should have missed this one. The cost of the distillery tour and tasting is 100 pesos per person, and for what you get out of it, it's definitely amazing value. La Alborada is a family-run distillery on a smaller property hidden amongst the outer streets of Tequila. Yeah, yeah. One hour. How do you find this? Google. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is the reviews. <laughs> 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 like, it's pretty depressing. <laughs> My friends from Canada. Hi. Canada. Oh, okay. Uh, Joanne, sorry. Javier, Joanne. nice to meet Joanne. you. Joanne. Yeah. Javier, yeah. nice to meet you. This is my, my business. If you compare with other factories, my relatives, I'm not big. I'm not small. I think the best part of my business is there is no one can copy my talent. They can copy my product, but they are my talent. We started with a tour of the distillery and were taken through the distillery process and learned quite a bit about the special techniques they use to produce their high quality tequilas.
We got to sample more than just tequila. The distillery prides themselves on their creative uses of the agave plant, with products ranging from agave cookies, syrups, liqueurs with fruits, and we even got to try their agave beer. This review on Google said it best. If you want a Mexican experience, take the train and visit one of the big distilleries and see their pretty haciendas and traditional dance shows. If, however, you come to Tequila to find high quality product that isn't on the shelves of every supermarket in Mexico made with love by friendly people who really care about what they do, come here. And we couldn't agree more with that statement. Antonio created a very personal and passionate experience. You truly sense the passion and love they have for what they do by the way they share this experience with their guest. The highlight was definitely sitting at the bar, chatting it up with Antonio as he created his elaborate and delicious concoctions. Mix, mix, mix. Yeah? Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> if you have time and need to fill your belly with some food, then head back toward the plaza and you can't miss eating at the Mercada Municipal de Tequila, where you should be able to get some amazing local Mexican dishes. We instead opted for more tequila as we killed a bit of time before our next tequila tour. If you choose to follow the same route as we did, you're in prime location to have a tequila filled drink best known as a cantarito, from a stall near the Tequila at Orendine Distillery, which, if you've opted for one of the tequila barrel tours that were sold in front of the church, you'll most likely stop here at some point as well. So guys, anywhere you are in tequila, you will find cantaritos, which are basically handmade clay cups or pots, and then they mix a fresca, which is like a citrus grapefruit drink with some tequila, this has two massive shots of tequila, so me and Javier should be enjoying ourselves quite a bit here. I mean, you come to tequila to drink the tequila. Cheers. At this point, we recommend checking out Tequila Fortaleza. It's not as small as La Alborada and not nearly as big as the tequila giants Jose Cuervo and Herradura. It's a distillery with rich history and international presence known as Fortaleza in the U.S. and Los Abuelos throughout Mexico. It produces much smaller quantities but offers amazing quality. After getting a superior recommendation from Douglas when we visited his restaurant in Plaquepaque, we scheduled a tour via email. Their website states they only take tours by appointment, so make sure you schedule your tour with plenty of time. The total cost is 500 pesos per person, and though it is a bit more than other tours you might find, it is without a doubt worth it. Miroslava was such a great guide. It was a private tour and she took us through every step of the process in detail. You get a tour of the facility and have the chance to walk through their agave fields. If you're in groups of four or more, you can even have lunch on the lake. During this part of the tour, you have a moment to take pictures and just enjoy the beauty around you. You're surrounded by acres of blue agave plants and the picture opportunities here are limitless. And when you don't think the tour can get any better, you are led to a tasting room that is without a doubt one of a kind. You are led through the dark tunnels to the center of a cave, equipped with a bar displaying their entire line of tequilas. You not only get a glimpse of their rich history, but the dark setting enhances your senses and you're able to really appreciate the rich, satisfying flavors of some of the best tequila we've ever tried. Pretty confident this is a solid way to experience the magical town of Tequila Jalisco. However you decide to experience tequila, it's a definite must when you're in the state of Jalisco or specifically Guadalajara. If you're a fan of tequila, this is a must add to your bucket list. So as we wrap this up, 
If you opted to take the bus, this is the point where you need to find the Tequila Plus station and buy your tickets directly at the station. Tickets run 115 pesos per person with the absolute last bus leaving at 7.50 p.m. And that's a wrap on the beautiful town of Tequila. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.